Guess what? Again, am I gonna cook? Get the pan really hot with a little bit of oil. The sweet stir frying too is a uh, char at the corner. Keep on turning it. This will take about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to render out the water, evaporate the water, and then render out the oil and you can stop frying other things. You can see that the water, the liquid is being rendered out. So you have to keep frying it till the water is evaporated away and the charring starts to take place and you have a nice wok taste. More and more liquid is uh, rendered out. You gotta keep stirring it until it's dry. So it's a laborious effort journey, so you got to keep doing it. The liquid is substantially reduced. The idea of keep stirring it, it actually helps to evaporate. And also the meat keeps getting cold, re -coat, dry up, cold and re -coat with the essence of the pork juice. So it gets nice and thick in the taste. You hear that the, the sound is getting to be more splattery and the moisture is almost disappeared and the oil is going to be rendered out in a short while. So keep stirring it. What am I cooking? You see that the liquid is almost gone and now what is rendered out is mostly mixture of liquid and mostly uh, pork lard and it's bubbling away. So we're going to get the pork cooked from pale to a little bit charred and brown to give flavor. Can you hear the blub 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 blub? You can hear the sound from the water moisture it become bubbling blub 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 blub. So this is the oil being rendered out and the juice being soaked in and evaporated over. So we're going to get a nice chop. So it's getting a little bit brown over here. You can see some part of the meat and over here the pan is getting brown. So all these are flavored. As long as it's not black, these are all flavored. And look at all the oil being rendered out. It's clear. So let's just keep trying. Cooking, just keep scraping out all these yellow beads here. These are called a kuapa. And see all those yellow beads everywhere. Let me just uh, go closer. See all the yellow beads everywhere, all these things. These are flavors. Most chop, you just add in the mint shallot and just keep on frying it with the hot oil till it's golden. And there'll be another layer of uh, taste and dimension of aroma. The whole process of uh, rendering, rendering the liquid from the uh, pork belly to the point is absorbed and then it's render out oil it takes about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the quantity that you have this is about 1.2 kilograms of a uh, pork belly you start to smell the aroma of charlotte which is lightly brown you can add in minced onion minced spring onions and then just another layer of paste so fry it too is another golden layer. But don't wait for the shallot to be golden because otherwise this, when this is golden for spring onion, the shallot will be burned. So you should roughly estimate it. The pork is quite brown, very brown, beautifully brown. And then you have the layer of shallot and then another dimension of um, spring onions. And finally you add in garlic. You don't add in garlic in the beginning because garlic, when it's burned, it gives a very bitter, irrecoverable taste. So you're adding lust. I add in about two to three tablespoons of rock sugar or white sugar if you want. 
You should fry it till it's melted and caramelized. There's another layer of sweetness. It gets yellow and golden, like a caramel pudding or creme brulee. The most exciting part is now you add in the about half a bowl of soy sauce and dark soy sauce, and then around the, the rim of the wok to fry the sauce. If you are here, you will smell amazing. Woo, let's just fry it. Woo. Oh my goodness. This is nice. By now, you should know what I'm cooking. The sauce fry in the oil a little bit. It gives another layer of taste. And now, you finally add in boiling water. Not too much, you just cover the ingredients a little bit. And you add in the spices. Add in about one teaspoon of uh, five spice, not too much and a good dose of pepper now we just pour the whole gravy and the meat into the cast iron pan or clay pot yum 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 and then i will add in my Stop, 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 stop. Add in the bean curd on tau kwa ya. And just braise it for two hours on the smallest fire, weakest fire. So now you're aiming to dissolve all the pig's fat until it's uh, almost unseenable after about 35 minutes it's gonna reduce so it has been substantially reduced you can see from here all the way down is about one and a half to two cm I'm gonna turn off the heat put in the hot boy egg because they soak until tonight so I don't overcook it just four hot boy egg. see you tonight voila My rural fan. This is what a yu tofu. Braised bean curd. Right here. No piece there. No piece.
Go to roll time. Soft and disintegrate, very, very soft. Mm. Just chilling. I can't get enough of this beauty. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow is going to be another great meal after today. Day two of Lu Rou Fan become Lu Mi Fan, Lu Bai Tai. Lu Rou Fan for my son.